broad stripes and bright stars to the perilous fight. O'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets round them, the bombs bursting in Welcome in all. Thanks so much for being with us here for Overwatch 2. Tonight we've got NYU, so the Eagles will be taking on New York University this evening, and we're about to get underway here. The guys are all in the studio revved up for this evening. This is actually going to be a tough match for the Eagles. This is the number two team in the league right now, so we're looking forward to seeing how they're able to stack up against that. They're, they're going to be trying some new things here. And uh, NYU, a very formidable opponent, so mm -hmm. we're going to see how well the Eagles are able to adjust to their strategy tonight. I'm here for you this evening as your host. I'm Caleb Colquitt, the head coach of the eSports team. And with me, we have Brandon Dishman. Hello, everybody. So uh, looking forward to having all of you here with us tonight. So let's go ahead and do our player intros. I'll go ahead and look into the arena right now. So. You can see over there on the uh, the middle computer there, or in the middle monitor, that is the captain, Viva. That would be Trey Parker. And then directly next to him, it looks we've like, got Ian. Yeah. That's I-N-D. I-N-D. Uh, that's the screen name. And then <laughs> on the other side, uh, we've got over there on the far left, that would be Zane, uh, <laughs> who is flexing there for us. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, if you uh, see him in the game, he's Sponk, I believe is the way to pronounce it. Yeah. And then uh, in the middle, we got Hunter Morton. Yeah. Uh, Look, you're dead, which is a uh, you know very foreboding screen name. Yeah. And then way over there on the tail end around us out, we got Jesse Clark. Yep. Otherwise known as Shadow Four. So looks like they've already gotten into the lobby and they're preparing to attack. So we got just a few seconds until game time here. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to be attacking on this first one. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> which is always fun, being on offense. Offense is always fun. Yeah, the, the getting, oh, the, the way you started out, uh, I like that right there. Yeah. Get, having your tank get ahead. Yeah, you know, typically speaking, you want your tank to jump in and start creating some space. And give you the rest of the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see so, someone playing ball just rolling around yeah, a good bit. Yeah, hammering uh, <laughs> wrecking ball. Trying to, you know, we don't see wrecking ball as much as the better than trying to be more used to really big in the meta and everything pretty much. But, uh, playing with one. Yeah. So, already they've had some trouble taking point. The other team did a good job of setting up their defenses. Yeah, it looks like the defense here is playing more offensively. Yep. And, uh, we've got... They're kind of hiding out here at, uh, at spawn. I think they're waiting. Yep, they were waiting for the rest of the team to get there. So they're, they're trying to have all five of their guys there to make a big push. Now, they have him way overextended right here at spawn. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think he's just trying to buy the rest of his team some time there. And it uh, could be an effective strategy, but typically speaking, I don't think you want your, your tank that far away from the point. To yeah. Him. It's just so mobile. Yeah, he's got he's got the uber uber aggressive thing on this NYU team. Yeah. 
causing a lot of chaos there. Taking out the Ana, Kiriko going to have to pick up the slack as far as the healing goes. And he's able to get some healing to May. Oh, man. Ooh. The going down Unfortunate. there. Yeah. Trey took someone out on the way, but looks like they're just going to regroup at spawn again. Yeah, this team has done a good job of keeping keeping everybody off point. They're trying to choke them in here. You can see there's really two major lanes of being able to get past this first wall into where point is. Yeah. Uh, but they've done a good job of guessing and keeping them uh, more or less stymied at this big point. And it's been hard for the bottom region to get a lot of penetration past that front line. Is a, oh, oh, got him. him. Nice. But it's, it's taken down right after him. A little bit of a trade. So we've got Shadow staying so far back. He's almost at point, but, you know, a good auto player can do that because he plays his spawn. Oh, is it actually in spawn? Oh, no. Uh oh. Unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. We're not able to get on point. This NYU team doing a very good job of keeping the guys back. Oh. Yeah, and the game's paused. That's strange. Yeah. Usually whenever the game's paused, that usually means that something's happened to the network. Yeah, it seems seems that way. Oh, okay. So it looks like they're having uh looks like they're gonna have to stream as well on yeah, uh, they're, their they're side. Stream issues on their side is yeah. what it looks like. I don't see how it would cause a pause here, though, which is a little interesting, unless they're actually having internet issues. Spawn. You can leave it to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. It's a little more information than we probably needed to yeah, know. Yeah, a little bit behind the scenes here. <laughs> You're getting to see that. Brotherly uh, love. And the guys are having a fun time with that, too, you can tell. Yeah. Somebody's throwing in the Uru. <laughs> For the people at home. Do you think we have some Hello Kitty girls on the other team? Is uh, that maybe what's going on? I hope not. Beware of the Hello Kitty girls. Yeah, don't ever trust them. <laughs> All right, so it looks like they're working everything out behind the scenes. Shouldn't take them too long. Uh, they had some stream issues yeah. uh, on their side, so I'm guessing what they're doing is they're just uh, taking a break here before the second second half of this first round trying to be able to set that up correctly which they don't know this because we haven't told them but we actually had quite a few stream difficulties as well so. yeah we were very lucky to get ours to uh, work pretty well as the way it is yeah we had to do some finagling but we're we're on and we're glad to be here so we'll Definitely put that credit toward our technical abilities. Yeah. Will actually uh, is having to, again, we're trying to make it as seamless as possible so you guys don't know this, but he's using a completely different scheme to get us on camera and switch between us and the Overwatch game. He's having to basically run two computers at once, so. <laughs> yeah. Uh, appreciate him being here and, and working production tonight. Hopefully we can get that fixed before the next game because it's been been kind of wonky the past couple games, but tonight we haven't been able to get it to work at all. So. Alright. Okay, so we got Reinhardt coming around the side. Nice fire strike there. Ooh. Gotta watch out for the hat. Yeah, and this is a map where Reinhardt has a little bit of trouble because... So many open spaces, especially for his backside. Right, and he has that charge attack, but he has to be very careful with it because it, it's so powerful that it can also result in him flying off stage and getting an environmental kill. Yeah. You don't want that, but the Faulkner Eagle starting to get some time on point and has already taken a... Oh, he, th he tried to oh, throw man. him off. That was so close. I believe that would have worked on any other tag tank except uh except ball. Except wrecking ball, yeah. Probably. That was a great strategy though. Yeah, if that had been another Reinhardt, that Reinhardt. Oh yeah. And also I think it does display uh Hunter's skill in using the charge. Uh Hunter nah, look wrecking ball overwhelmed. Gets yep. The rest of the team's already back at spawn. But that's okay. We saw that he can be able to uh, withstand his own for at least a couple of... And I'll say it's lucky if he can get a couple of seconds withstanding just yourself against five other people. 
I will say, though, I'm kind of surprised at the team lineup for both of these teams, not just Walker. Normally on this, because environmental kills are so much easier to get because the point is, like, three sides of it are a pit, usually you see a lot of uh, um, Arissa, you see a lot of uh, Zenyatta, you see a lot of Lucio, and we've not seen any of those characters this entire round. Yeah. really kind of surprising. I'm guessing that everybody's just playing to their advantage, more to their like their likes of, I guess who they like. Well, it's NYU you taking uh, taking the lead back. Faulkner led for the most most of this round, but uh, unfortunately they've been able to push them back all the way to spawn and have given them a really hard time here. Yeah, it looked like Trey uh, actually is copying um, their strategy for their. Uh, Oh, that character scheme. Yeah, Trey really likes to do that. Always has. Um, okay, so we, we got the point back. Yeah, well, it was because he was cloaked. And so he got on. It's a sneaky way to get point. Like, he basically had his cloak on and was able to stick on point for a little while. Huh. The ball figured him out. I, I can't tell if it was him or someone else. Interesting. Either way, they they picked they they figured out that he was hiding there. Yeah. They're like, why isn't our percentage going? Down? That's weird. <laughs> At least give it to him. I can see a, a lot of improvement right, they got the tank. compared to our other games that we've had. But I, I, this is the team that always puts in more practice than they ever want to in this uh, arena here. All right, got the mercy. Oh. All right. Let's get to their fast. The there we go. Capturing. Woo! Overtime. Mommy. Let's hold them out. This is going to be gross. It's like someone's got an ult oh, they could we use. got it. We got point. Now we just got to stay on it. Yep. And uh, since they have 99%, <clears throat> we cannot afford to lose it no. for even a second. Put that little turret to work. Come on, guys. Come on, Spong, you can do it. Being very Spongy. Oh, and Reinhardt coming up with creating a little space up front. Woo. Good way to handle that. Oh, they're about to. More are going on full uh, defense with the ult there. Yeah. Which is badly needed, trying to keep, keep the team alive. Oh, and oh Som Sombra versus Sombra. Yo! Nice. Come on, guys. You can do Let's this. Let's go. Now they just got to get ready to brace because they're going to go in for... Uh, oh, yeah. They're going to get over. time for one more push. Oh, yeah. Four, five, six. Seven. Yep. Sure Here it enough. is. Here it is. We're in overtime again. All right. Let's got to let's gotta kill this overtime. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Right, oh, we got them all. Kill. Got their tank. Come on, boys. Let's keep our tank alive. Let's do this. Oh, he's still alive. How is he still alive? He's ball. Oh, no. Okay, we still have a healer. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Reinhardt goes down. This is not going to be good. And they ult. Oh, man. Is that Zinyata's Over. Ult? Oh. Yep, that's going to be Barely. Good gracious. That, that one, was. That one really came down to the wire. Uh, 99 versus 98 percent, and then they were just able to take us at the, the tail end there. But man, that was a close match. Yeah, I could see why the play of the game was ball here. Yeah, no, he was instrumental in that victory at least twice. I want to see where he almost died. Oh, that, honestly. actually, that was it, right there. Man, he gets kicked off, and what he does is he he launches his uh, tow line. Yeah, and then just catches it at the last second before he sinks. Man. That is. And it's a shame, too, because Hunter, who is a newer character or a newer player, yeah. you can tell he's really spent a lot of time with that character in Reinhardt because there were twice where he perfectly executed a pin and dropped at exactly the right time to push somebody off. It just so happened that that wrecking ball was skilled enough that it didn't matter. Um, and you're right, mm. any other tank would have died there, but because it was wrecking ball, he was able to, to reattach his tow line and get back. I'm guessing they picked ball because they knew of the map. I'm going to take Probably. a while, I guess, for that. 
You know, it kind of reminds me how in the old Spider-Man game, like you had to know where the buildings were to be able to attach your your web after they attach web anchoring. Yeah. And so it's the same kind of thing. Like you could just pull off these stupid. Uh, if you were getting close to death and you could like launch a web line at the last <laughs> second to save yourself, um, that's exactly what that Hammond did there. Man. So we're assembling our heroes. Maybe they'll uh, they'll make a little bit of a change here. And I'm already looking into the arena. Can tell that we're gonna have a little bit of a change. Yep. But uh, I don't wanna. I don't want to give everybody uh well, well now they see it so i gotta tell you though like i'm proud of the team how they played in that last round because they got let's be honest a little bit manhandled in that first round yeah uh but then they came back and really absolutely brought it down to the wire against the number two team in the league like that is that, that is nothing to sneeze at that's a good way to respond <laughs> having a little bit of fun with their paints yep <laughs> did you ever watch Avatar, the yeah. last Airbender? Yes, I did. Yeah, those little things remind me of like a high tech version of the Pentapus. <laughs> yeah. He has Pentapox. <laughs> what are Pentapox? I think I've heard of those. <laughs> oh. oh, we've seen this map way many times. Oh, see, and now they bring in the Lucy. Oh boy. Oh well, it's so kind of a trade here. Not really. So it's funny too because I've actually seen quite a bit of play with uh, Wrecking Ball because that used to be Trey's main. Yeah. And so, especially back when we started and Trey being here, like I watched a lot of matches where he was playing Wrecking Ball. Huh. You got the Lucio for speed. Get them all in there. Yeah, when you see four, you know you're all good. He feels the need. <laughs> yeah. We got there, Lucio. Lucio's yeah. still alive, but uh. Ah, uh, this Genji gonna give him trouble. Man, a good Genji is so hard to counter. You're right. He's just so quick and so hard to get a kill off of. Man. Though, granted, Lucio is a good way to try to counter a Genji. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Will, um, the, we need to go ahead and bring up the scoreboard here. Should be buffer one. Oh, right, right, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> I forgot, like I said, the uh, the system's a little bit different, so we actually can't see the scoreboard, but it's yeah. on the screen for y'all, so sorry about that if that confused anyone. Hey, at least I can see it. That's all that matters. Sorry about that, Will. <laughs> We were confused. <sighs> I made a little bit of a character change here. I think Trey is liking what he did last match. Yeah, he's come to really like Sombra. Um, I've noticed him playing her a lot more. And when the new patch came out, Sombra was a little bit overpowered. They've drawn her back some. But still, still can be a very effective backline chaos. Character. I like the cloak, the way that it works. Oh man. Oh look, he got through and now he's capturing. Oh boy. Then in comes Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball there came in like a Miley Cyrus. I came in. Oh no, you <laughs> that got me thinking about that song now. I'm not gonna stop thinking about it. Oh, oh, getting university a has no affiliation with no. Warner Music. Capturing. Oh my, we're going to be able to do it? Yep. <clears throat> Got it. Let's go. Payload time. It's my favorite time. Really? Payload time? Payload time. Dara? Escort the payload. Bring me the payload. All right, now we got the other team starting to slowly jump Woo. in. I do think that Faulkner tends to do better with Taylor than that. So. Yeah. Just a my experience. Well, it seems like they were comfortable, definitely comfortable last match with the point. I think that's what they were, uh, their improvement on their practices were probably. 
Yeah, it shows. It, it does show. Sure. Uh, got a kill on Eeyore. Yeah. Oh, I can't say. When you say that, I think of Eeyore. <laughs> yeah, you can say you got a kill on Eeyore. You just uh, can't say that uh, you had a self-destruct from Eeyore. <laughs> That would be depressing. That would be depressing. Oh boy. Oh well well, all left is our healer and our tank. Yep. Which, to their credit, doing a pretty good job of holding off this onslaught. Woohoo! Oh got the ball. Nice. Alright. Man, pushed up against the wall. Shadow and Look, you're dead. I mean, just did a fantastic job of pushing off. It's like the perfect team with superior numbers. Perfect, of like synchron, synchro. What's that word? Synchronization. Yeah, synchronization. That's the word I'm looking for. Fancy communication. <laughs> Brandon learns. Yeah, nice chin there. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, and asleep. Just taking a little nap. We've all been there. And we all want a little nap every now and then. I know I wanted one this afternoon. <laughs> oh, throw up that shield. You need it. Uh, tries to, to go for the pin. But oh. It's already moved out of the way. And that Genji. That Genji is hard for a Reinhardt to counter because Genji's so good at getting behind you. Yeah. The Reinhardt shield is extremely directional. Man. Hopefully they were nearby the payload. Hopefully spawn nearby. They're not too far. It doesn't look that far. But it's just right over this ridge. Say if not enough time left. Oh, he used he popped the ult for help. Yep. Trying to snipe. As Lucio. Yeah. That's one way to do it. Oh, and then the uh, Genji tries to come in, gets booped. Oh, we need to make it to the payload. Yeah. Oh, got a little revenge. Okay. Yeah, we, we don't have much time. We've got to make it to that checkpoint. We only have 20 seconds to do it. Yeah. This is going to be all it's like this uh, ball, wrecking ball, harassing our, <laughs> was harassing our Lucio. Let's yep. use the speed, folks. Oh. They're on point. Okay. Just keep it, keep, keep the point going. They're, they are on the payload. Oh, and gets a boop for, <laughs> yeah. for an environmental kill there on uh, Wrecking Ball. Nice. Kicks it into overtime. Got to keep that uh, wagon train rolling. Yep. Oh, no. no. Oh, no, no, I'm thinking that song. They're all all right, got, a, got the Reinhardt ult. Yes. Yeah. It's hammer time. Oh, but oh boy! Self, this is not going to end well. Man, well at least we got it a good distance. Yeah, we did. All we got to do is stop them until they make it to the first, but the third, but first checkpoint. So the way that it works <coughs> is, depending on the distance that you got and the time remaining, yeah, it's going to calculate the amount of time that the other team has to escort their payload based on. Gotcha. And we got close to halfway. Yeah. So we're going to get about. Like, we'll have to basically stop them from getting theirs halfway is essentially how that works. Who knows? Maybe we might be able to do that beforehand. Yep. Let's hope so. Yeah. Definitely. This, uh, I will say about this team, a couple of the standout players from their side have definitely been whoever's playing Wrecking Ball. Uh, and I've also noticed that the one who's playing Genji... Genji, at least based on what I've seen so far, some of the stuff may have escaped my notice because it wasn't on the particular screen that spectator mode was watching. Yeah. Uh, but this Genji has not even got that many kills. He's just been so good at uh, 
hitting multiple targets to reduce their damage to where the healers have to constantly divert their attention between several different characters. Because as a healer, obviously you're you're gonna want to pay attention to the whole team, but ideally you want your tank to be a damage sponge to where both healers can kind of look out for him more. But the way that this team is playing, part of the reason we've had issues with them is they force our healers to spread their attention across all of the players. Oh boy. And with a quick response. Yep. So, got Sojourn here, looking to cause some damage. Yep. And going to rotate around to the other side. This ball is going everywhere. Oh, getting right up close and personal. Nice. Takes out Eor. Takes out this Bastion. Oh, take him out. Let's got go. Got the turret, got the Bastion. Ooh. Or not the turret, the uh, Immortality Field. Taking him out all along the way, but hopefully we can be able to keep him off. Hope so. Hey, this Shadow of Force playing great. Oh, gets the gets the Wrecking Ball. <laughs> with, a, with a healer. Good shot off. I'm gonna say don't don't un, un, underestimate this healer. Interesting that we've got Viva now playing as May. I notice that's his comfort character to fall back on. Yeah, it's it's not necessarily what you would consider his best, but like if he's having some trouble, he might he might run. Yeah, really a little while. bit more defense on your offense. Right. So Faulkner doing a good job so far keeping these guys off point because once the point is captured then they're going to have to start dealing with the payload. And of course, the longer they can keep the payload from spawning, the better their chances of keeping it from getting halfway. They could actually realistically win this round since there's no long way to get the other team from capturing point. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're going to be able to hold that much longer. It looks like they're about to lose point. Yep, they lost point. But now they got to now they got to stop the payload. So now basically, you see that little orange marker there on the, uh, the indicator? Yep. That is going to be where they need to stop. They have to stop it from getting to that point or else they may either lose or go into an overtime situation. And well, we have one of our healers taken out. It looks like we're trading pretty good along the way. Yeah, Trey had to uh, go into his ice shield but then immediately comes out and gets most of the damage he healed from, taken from him. Man, doing a great job of neutralizing Viva on the field. Yeah. Which is not easy to do. He's the captain for a reason. So, the payload moving relatively quickly. They're going to have to do something to stop this thing. And they've got, unfortunately, since the payload spawned, they've got like three and a half. Yeah, there's a yeah. little over three and a half minutes left. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one for them. Moira has ult. Let's see if they can go ahead and use it here or save it up. Is that a, did I just see a Reinhardt ult? And a Moira ult. Even though it didn't get any kills, I, I believe it put a lot of help. Oh, definitely put some stress on the other team. And gets the sleep on the wrecking ball. Yeah. Okay, the, the payload's actually stopped. Yes, yes 4. it is. 4.89 meters. Oh, oh boy. It's let's moving again and it is close. Oh. Yeah, that may be. I was afraid of that. That's uh, that's the game. All right. So that means that NYU takes round one. Wildcats on top of the Eagles. But it is a best of three, so Faulkner still has yeah, no a chance. couple rounds to be able to come back on this. But uh, props to the team captain there, Viva, for getting play of the game. And that was yeah. a heck of a play, too. It's pretty nice. But, uh, I mean, looking at their how they've played starting at the beginning of the season, even like the other season that we had mm -hmm. last semester, um, I can see a lot of improvement here. And you can even see by their names um, that we're, that we're looking at their rankings here that's just gone going up and it's actually kind of surprising um with all this practice that they put in and i think honestly that they they're they're doing their hardest 
it really looks like it. Yeah, well, I mean, they, like I said, this is the number two team in the league, and they have held their own. Yeah. Uh, really, the in, after that first match, which didn't end the way they wanted it to, they have really held their own the entire time. Which is, so, which props is, to them. Which is pretty awesome, knowing that we can be able to at least give them a, a run for their money here. For sure. And, uh, for at least those other matches, and hopefully we can think of a different strategy here and actually uh, bring a win. Oh, by the way, I do need to correct myself on an error I made. I said best of three. What I meant was best of five. Uh, uh, this is a best of five match. So they've lost, lost two. Yeah. Um, so they, they got one they more. Have, they've got one more to be able to, if they can do a comeback on this, they can mount a rally. To find success, oh, yeah. We must and sometimes it happens. Getting a little bit of a, a scene... Hopefully uh, that's that's how we walk in there, just Five, just like that. Four, three, a little faster, two. I hope. Yeah, just a little faster. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll play so good that we don't have to do it like that. Oh, they're hanging out on the roof. Wow. What, what a strategy. That is bold. Never seen that one before. Did, didn't protect point at all, just decided to hide out on the roof on top of the other team. That might be something new that I have never seen before. I've never seen a team do that. Wow. And surprisingly, it's working. Yeah, so... You see something new every single day. I, I can imagine a another pro team out there watching this right now, probably thinking to themselves, I haven't Why even thought of... Why did we try that? Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Might add this one to the next one of our practices. Yeah, and another thing that didn't help them is... Uh, with their setup and the, the team that they had chosen there, yeah, um, they're actually fairly vulnerable to attacks from above. So. Ooh, got a sniper back there. Yeah. Hopefully ours can. Ooh. Oh, gets tapped right between. That must have been a heck of a headshot. Yeah. Is that a Widowmaker that made that shot. I think it was. There are definitely other characters that could have made that one, but he just seemed like Widowmaker. Kind of yeah. Guy. Yep, they do have a they do have a Widowmaker that made that one. So Faulkner having real trouble with this one. They're they're repeating some of the issues they were having with the very first round, which is the problem that they're having is they're getting stuck on Twan and not able to really get to their payload. Yeah. Alright, so Viva using Sombra to try to slip behind the front lines here, trying to get on point. Really good with their cloaking ability. Yeah, it, it makes for an interesting... And since they, here. since they took more of a surprise approach with us, I'm guessing it's only fair that we do the same. Well, I think what he's, like, the main thing that he's trying to do here It is, looks like scouting. Uh, well, it's scouting, but because they're waiting for them on the roof there, he's trying to give them an idea of where everyone is, and also uh, it looks like he's been trying to at least cause enough confusion to where they have to... Not just oh man, an ult there taking that out. Yep. All right, so they're throwing in Winston, which we've seen look your dead playing on Reinhardt all night. H having them play on Winston is a interesting development. Yeah, this is interesting. Which Winston is typically a one that's great at disrupting the back lines. So he may just be trying to cause enough chaos there on the roof to keep them from using that strategy. That yeah. may be what's going on here. I petition, get rid of the roof. That does seem a little. Oh man. Only got 15 seconds left to escort the payload. 
Hopefully we will play a lot better defensively once it's our turn. Maybe we can get on and actually contest. Oh wow. Woo! Yeah. Not a not a great round for the Eagles. Yeah. Mm. 14 meters. Well, is 14 meters long? I have no idea. Nope. I don't know either. We do it by yards here. What are you talking about? Yeah. Metric system. 14 meters could be yeah. 8 inches or 1,000 miles. I have, no, I, I have no idea. Yeah. I choose not to know that. I had uh, my brother, who's an engineer, who's arguing with me one night. He's like, <laughs> the metric system is a better system. I'm like, well, it might be, but it still doesn't change the fact that I don't know it. Yeah. Look I'm not up. arguing about the metric system and the merits. I'm just saying that you can tell me whatever you want to, and I still won't know how long it is. Nope. I am good. I have. He wouldn't listen. Isn't that just like him? I'm Only time I'll ever agree with the metric system is when I'm looking for my tools. So that's about it. Do a lot of work on like foreign cars. Uh, a little bit. Gotcha. I typically use adjustable wrenches anyway, so yeah. neither metric nor imperial is too important to use that. <laughs> <laughs> Imperialist, that's perfect. I just turn the knob to where it works. Yep. Back when things were simple. Well, it'll tell you that I don't do a ton of work like that because obviously you'd much rather have a wrench set at a specific measurement if you do a lot. Yeah. But I don't need that, but I just have a couple of adjustable wrenches. There's really something about this other team in roofs. They love roofs. Well, I mean, part of it is, look at their uh, their, their character selection. They've got Zenyatta, they've got Widowmaker, and they've just got a lot of characters that play well when above other characters. Yeah. So Viva has switched to Reaper. Reaper. He's letting out his inner reaper. Well, I think what they're trying to do to counter that is typically if you have a snipe heavy team, you want a mobile team to be able to take them out. Because obviously the more mobile you are, the harder you are to hit as a target. And more importantly, oh, that's going to be game. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't take them long to be yeah. able to get payload because we, we did not take it very long in our last one, So No, we didn't. Unfortunate. You know, you don't see Pharah much in the meta game either, but she used again, to see her. because she flies, does really well with that over hit game. Yeah. And so right there you can see she takes out Winston, which was put out there specifically to get them off the roof. And so with that Pharaoh was able to really just work well as a suppression tool. Alright. So Well, yeah, that was Did, interesting. Didn't end well for us. Uh, unfortunately, that's going to be it for the Eagles. Uh, not not able to do what they really needed to do tonight. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to call it an evening. Yeah. Um. I mean, we'll, we're going to come back with the post game show, obviously. But that's going to be it for our our main broadcast. So we'll be back with the post game show in just one minute. Did you know that 100% of Faulkner's computer science graduates since 2014 have found jobs in their fields within six months of graduating? It's a great time to be a computer scientist. Everyone is walking around with a computer in their pocket in the form of a smartphone. And it takes software developers to make those things work. I built church websites and through the training and instruction that I received from Faulkner, I was able to go right into my career after graduation. It laid a solid foundation for what you need to know. I'm getting a lot of hands-on experience within my field and also they're just giving me a wide variety of options of things that I might want to pursue in the future. In the state of Alabama alone, there are over 4,000 tech-related jobs available. And the preparation that you receive at Faulkner University will allow you to go to work almost anywhere as a software developer. It's a great time to be a Faulkner Eagle and it's a great time to be a computer scientist. I hope you'll come and join us.
the corners of this house and be the lintel blessed. Bless the hearth and every board and each place of rest and every door that opens wide to stranger as to kin and every crystal window pane that lets the stars For solace and safety home Where the world will not break me home Never forsake me Take me All right, everybody, welcome back. Thanks so much for being here with us for our production of Overwatch 2. Tonight, the Eagles were unsuccessful playing a very difficult NYU team, very skilled, a lot of high-ranked players and number two, and it showed. I mean, uh, we had a, a good showing in several points of the game, but you can tell why these guys are ranked so high. Tonight, we are here with IND, Ian McFarlane, to mm -hmm. talk to us a little bit about the game. So, uh, Ian, really want to talk to you about this. This was obviously a very skilled team, a team that has yes. a lot more experience than us. Uh, but yet, despite that, in the second round there, we seemed to show a lot of life, and we came in the first round within an eyelash of winning that second part of it. So uh, talk to us a little bit about that, and what were the strategies that really worked against them? Yeah, so what was really starting to work in that second game was um, what we like to call portal plays. So whenever I play Symmetra and I'm able to put portals out and it kind of, it throws the other team off by putting us behind them and things like that. It just allows us to get to a different place. And when we're able to do that, we really capitalize on that well, which is how we were able to capture that first point at the beginning of the second um, spot. And... Sadly, though, that just doesn't work very well throughout the rest of that map, but right, that's well, what I mean, we try to do at the beginning. Point, you can disrupt their battle plan, but once mm -hmm. the point is moving, it becomes a little bit more difficult to use that strategy. Yeah, it becomes a lot more of them trying to disrupt our battle plan than gotcha. us trying to disrupt them from that point forward. Gotcha. So uh, talk to us a little bit about that play there at the tail end on the final map where they were uh, over the top of you on that, like, uh, awning. Yes, yeah, yeah. So they were on top of the awning, and basically they had camped out one of their healers up there, and then it was a good little point for their Fara to hang out, and really was hard for us to get out there because they're, um, they had such good shots with uh, their Fara um, and able to take out anyone with 200 health and two shots. So trying to get out of that room was really hard for us, and since we didn't have our normal tank, who's a lot more familiar with the rest of the characters in the tank there wasn't a lot we could do on that end either which really shut down some of our options but uh near the end I, after the game ended there's a few frames where trey was actually able to get up there and take care of the people up there but right. sadly he wasn't able to pull that off during a little too late, little too late. yeah yeah well one thing that i noticed too and uh we didn't have our normal tank we had hunter stepping mm -hmm. in uh, to his credit, though, in that first, uh, the second half of that first round, um, he was knocking people off of points left and right. It was just because they had Wrecking Ball as their tank, he was able to reattach and yeah. kill it. So it's unfortunate that, you know, he showed a lot of skill tonight, but it just it wasn't a good matchup for people that he was playing. It's unfortunate, yes, but to that point, we were ecstatic to see hunter doing so well oh yeah he was like killing it. the amount of progress he's made over the past couple months um wasn't even evident until tonight mm -hmm. when he was put in a game situation and really r able to perform really well and you know and on that last map we were talking about where they were hanging out on the roof uh if it hadn't been for that far having yeah. literally play of the game right there his mm -hmm. winston probably would have uh would have made a big difference, which is surprising because he doesn't yeah. play Winston. Much. 
he started to play Winston some more now that he's finally gotten a better feel for Ryan, which is what he needs to do, learn another tank. And he's been doing a great job. Uh, in all honesty, I while I'm sad we lost tonight, I'm very happy with how we performed. It You can see the progress from our first game of the year to right now. which Yeah, it seems to me, and I want you to speak to this a little bit, it seems like our team coordination has improved drastically. It has, um, which I know the staff in here likes to make fun of us, but we spend a lot of time <laughs> practicing in here. Hey, we're and not making fun. We're glad you're in here practicing. <laughs> good. And it's really helped us get a better feel for everything that we're doing. And we're just recently made a burst in the ranks um, of Overwatch. We've started shooting up higher in our placement matches in our competitive. And it's just, it feels like something finally kind of clicked for a lot of the people in it really is setting us and setting us up for success now well that's really good to hear and unfortunately uh, obviously not able to take the win tonight and not I think tonight it was just bad timing because you guys started sort of hitting a stride but you just happen to be matched up against a really mm -hmm. good team tonight uh but yeah so uh, not a faulkner win but a very hopeful showing mm -hmm. maybe you know forecasting some some good things in the future and we're of course uh, rooting for you in the next game which will be here next tuesday same bat time same bat channel 6 p.m on tuesday should be a lot more evenly matched too so a lot more lively is yeah, what we're hoping we again next week? i don't remember who i just remember their ranks yeah we had uh, too many disasters on the streaming side so i actually didn't get a chance to put together my uh my schedule which i normally have right mm -hmm. in front of me uh so i'm actually not sure about who we're playing next week i guess we could look that up real quick in fact i have the uh the overwatch um uh, Star League pulled up here, so why don't we go ahead and look that up? Oh, we've got FSU, so FSU. Florida State. Uh, awesome. We got Florida State next week. That's going to be February twenty eighth, six p.m. We'll of course keep you up to date on that and another events that we've got going on this week. Honestly, the entire schedule is kind of in flux right now. <laughs> it's a crazy week, and I have to leave for a recruiting trip Friday night. So what we did is we rescheduled CS:GO to be this Thursday night. That's going to be at 9 p.m. And that will probably be our last game of the week because it looks like we're going to have to reschedule Smash Bros. until sometime next week. The other team couldn't do 6 o'clock and we couldn't do later because of the CSGO game. So it just became a big mess. But uh, we will be keeping you up to date on whatever is going on later on in the week. We'll try to make sure that uh, if there are any schedule changes, we will let you know through our social media. Be sure to follow us on Twitch, on Twitter, on Facebook and Instagram, and we will be getting all of that information to you as quickly as we can. As soon as we know, we will make sure that you know. So be sure to follow us there. And hey, while you're there, be sure to like and subscribe. That helps us with the numbers and helps support the team. So that is going to be it for us tonight with a final score of 3 nothing in Overwatch 2. NYU unfortunately takes the victory from the Eagles. So that is going to be it for us this evening. A special thanks to Will Howard on production who had to work through a lot of complications and different things and did so admirably. And also to my broadcast partner, Brandon Dishman, and to Ian McFarlane for coming on for the interview. That is going to be it for us this evening. Thank you so much for being with us. Stay tuned, friends. The preceding broadcast was an official presentation of Faulkner University. It may not be redistributed without the express written consent of the Faulkner University Athletic Department. Regitar USA High Res Arena is sponsored by Regitar USA. The National Anthem was performed by the Faulkner University Chorus. If you would like to learn more about the Faulkner Esports program, visit our official website at FaulknerEagles.com or follow us on Discord, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram for all the latest news and events. Thank you for watching and soar Eagles!